Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 30th, 2024. Well, yesterday we had kind of a mix of action in the market. We tried to go up and then we just really languished. I would say if I had to describe the, uh, the market setup for today, we are filled with anticipation and uncertainty. Um, both of those things playing a major role for our uh, morning setup. So let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, we had Asian markets last night. We're mostly higher. They did a really uh, good job um, overnight. Uh, Nikkei up the most, 1.24% um, or 470 points, but um, rather modest gains um, everywhere else. The Shanghai was just slightly lower, being down 8.22 points or 0.26% if we and the reason that is is china factory activity uh, data showing um, that slowing over there no big surprise i think the entire world economy is slowing if we take a look at our european markets european markets are mostly lower here this morning with only the FTSE showing a little bit of upside gain um, they had a gdp number that beat but also found out that their inflation was holding steady so a little bit of um, a problem there for them and then if we take a look at u.s futures well u.s futures are are just slightly down across the board here this morning nothing major as a matter of fact they've been rising since I've been up this morning trying to uh, recover from the lows of the night so let's take a look at what we've got going on um, in oil oil is a little bit higher this morning it oil had a pretty good sell-off yesterday but um, pushing back up just a little bit um, up 31 cents at 82.96 a barrel Brent up 31 cents at 88.71 a bar barrel and natural gas being um, up just over four cents this morning if we take a look at our precious metals here this morning they're down pretty sharply here gold's falling pretty hard here this morning down $31.20 an ounce silver copper platinum palladium all down here this morning looking for some weakness if we take a look at our cryptos they're also feeling a uh, considerable weakness here this morning with bitcoin down a um, thousand ninety two a coin at the moment and right across the board on those cryptos let's take a look at our bonds bonds are probably the reason that we're feeling a little bit ugly here at this very moment the two-year bond is at 4.99 percent the 10-year bond is at 4.63 percent and that pesky 30-year bond continues to hold in there steady at 4.75 percent so feeling a little bit of worry a little bit of pressure as we head toward that FOMC meeting on Wednesday. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Pro video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here i very much appreciate it let's take a look at these charts see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today remember let's uh when we take a look at these charts let's look at these charts for what they are not for what we want them to be and kind of set that bias aside here for a little bit while we're doing this analysis let's take a look here at our diamonds chart and as you can see we've had a nice little move here and by the way these patterns that are showing up in here this is a possible uh, double bottom type pattern now it's kind of skewed it's not exactly what you would normally see but that's because of all the volatility that we've seen here in the market and you want to notice what i've drawn here we broke this downtrend yesterday just ever so slightly didn't um, really hold on to it with a lot of confidence but we did break through so if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today then a push on up maybe to retest yesterday's um, high wick up there and then see if we can push on through to test this major resistance area in the chart 
um, big price action resistance in the chart and then if we break through that once again we're going to come up here and probably test this area now as we push up into that area we're going to have to deal with our major moving averages as you can see right up there our 50-day moving average is sliding back down below that area in the chart so if we push up into there we're going to have to deal with that moving average and that possibility that we could um, run into not only significant price resistance but the technical resistance that we're going to need something special maybe to push us through there now if the bears were to find inspiration well first thing i'm going to do is look for a pullback and maybe test yesterday's low um, see if we can hold that area of support because that would drop us back down below this trend line here and then we run the risk of coming in testing this area support falling through there of course you can see probably back down here and we'll feel a little bit of pressure or worry in the market if we're back down here testing lows and then particularly if that lower to break because if that low breaks there's going to be a lot of emotion here in the market and likely see some pretty big point moves that could really push us down to test the next levels of support in the chart. Um, remember, our 200-day moving average is quite a ways away, but if we were to start to reverse back down and break some of these levels in here, I would suggest the 200-day moving average would be in sight for the diamonds. If we take a look at our SPY, um, SPY, rallied up here nicely yesterday putting in a little bit of a um, hanging man type pattern here in that chart right here at price resistance and a downtrend um, obviously still in a bullish push to the upside we'll want to watch this carefully if the bulls can continue to push here today then i would look for a break of that downtrend right up in here into this area of price resistance of the chart to see if we can push on through breaking through that level probably is going to require a bit of a hold up here and then we'll see if we can continue to push on through to test some of these all-time highs there are some areas of resistance in here first but we've got a pretty good move going on here in the spy and if you take a look we're up here testing that 50-day moving average trying to decide do we have enough energy to bust through this big area of price congestion and that 50-day moving average it's probably going to take some data to do that so keep a close eye on it on the bearish side if the bears were to push well i'm going to start marking these areas out in here and you could probably see pretty simply a pushback into here a failure at the 50 and that downtrend would probably raise a little bit of concern if we started pushing back and progressively moving down through these levels in the chart um, breaking down below here is where it would probably get a little bit worrisome for the s p 500 if we were to drop into that area of the chart let's take a look at our qqq very similar situation here very very bullish overall pushing to the upside we're coming into a major congestion area of price action and technical resistance here in the chart so as you can see pushing up into this area we would look at for that next move if we can break this resistance up into that next area of price resistance which is pretty substantial and then we still have that downtrend that we've got to deal with here in the chart so pushing up into there may be where we run into some particular challenge now looking up there you notice we're going to run into that 50-day moving average right here as well so we're going to run into that uh, price action resistance and technical resistance here soon in the chart if those bulls have the energy to keep pushing to the upside now if the bears were to come into play and there may be reason that the bears would come into play with some big tech data coming out today we'll see how they report if those bears were to come into play and push us back down well first right in here today i would look in that area pushing down below that i would come down into here then i would be looking for that gap fill 
into um, this price area of support in here. Now, keeping in mind, there is a little tiny uptrend here. If we come all the way back down into here, we're going to be threatening that potential area of support and upside trend. And a breakdown below here, well, you can see we're starting to move progressively back down through these lows if that were to occur. If we um, take a look at our Russell IWM, well, IWM broke that downtrend here in the chart, moved on up, came up here and took a little bit of a look at uh, that area of price resistance in the chart yesterday. And then, eh, we don't have the energy for it today. Backed off just a little bit. And if we continue to see those bulls push, well, that's the first place I wanna test. See if we can break into that area of the chart. Breaking through there, I'm gonna look up right through here in the chart. There's a next little area of resistance. See if we can push on through there, up through that. Then we're looking just a tiny bit higher here with some price resistance. And then of course, right up into this area for those bulls. Now breaking through this up here is gonna be pretty substantial. Um, we've got a big area of price resistance here in the chart to be watching. Now keeping in mind, we still have this little upside trend that's um, holding on here in IWM. If those bears were to push back here today, little support right in there. If they can hold that, we're in good shape. If they cannot and we start pushing back down, I'm going to look for a retest of this green line here as a support and maybe that trend in the chart. Breaking down below there, well, it starts to getting a little bit worse, worrisome for the market and we could really slip here in this market coming back and testing recent lows. Beyond that is when the real pain starts. We could really have some ugliness here in the chart. You will want to keep in mind that um, IWM is still below its 50-day moving average and that press up into here we're going to be looking at that 50-day moving average to see if we've got enough energy to push back up through there. Let's take a look at our VIX for the day. Our VIX continued to sell off yesterday um, in that bullish move showing no fear in the market but there is an incredible amount of uncertainty here going into um, the FOMC. If it weren't for so many um, earnings reports and the, the really heavy um, anticipation of tech reports, well, I'm not sure we would be here at the moment. The, the hype and the anticipation around earnings is really incredible right now. So keep an eye on this area of price support. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, then I would look for us to start pushing back up and testing some of these areas up in here. If the bulls continue to find inspiration, then there's every reason we could push right back down through here if we get good tech um, uh, reports this afternoon i would expect a big push in the qqq if that were the case so watch that carefully and we could drop right down into here remember as i said yesterday seven companies right now are 34 percent just seven companies are 34 percent of the s p 500 so if the big tech uh, giants report well, we could certainly see those indexes move higher if they happen to stumble. And that's going to be the worrisome part. If they happen to stumble, we can move these markets substantially lower as well. Let's take a look at our T20s. Our T2122, if we take a look at that, we pushed up nicely here yesterday, but we still have some upside room. If the bulls can find inspiration here today, there's every reason to believe we could push on up here and be right back up here in this bearish reversal zone. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, we have certainly opened um, a nice opportunity for the bears to attack if they find reason to do so. So keep an eye on those data points here today. It could be a very important decision coming for the market as we head into that FOMC. It's also possible that uncertainty could overwhelm the market today and we kind of go nowhere in a choppy session um, throughout the day until we hit those big tech earnings tonight. But we're going to be worried about what that FOMC may say. Will they be dovish? Will they be hawkish?
Your guess is as good as mine. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, T2108 had a good day yesterday, pushing back up. Didn't really resolve anything. As you can see, we pushed back up into this price resistance of the chart and then just kind of stalled for the day. If we can push on through that area, then we'll be pushing up into here and you can see bulls have a lot of resistance that they're going to have to deal with as they push back up and of course that 50 percent area is going to be a psychological level we need to get back up through there and hold above that area to really feel pretty energized here in the market if we look at our t2107 well we certainly have that energy here we're holding well above our 50 percent area but yesterday as you can see we we tried to move up but it just kind of sputtered there just wasn't a whole lot of enthusiasm in the market to uh, push us hard again it's that uncertainty so keep an eye on this we've got a little resistance in this area that we'll want to be paying attention to if we can push on higher if the bears gain control then I would look for a pushback to uh, check that area of the 50% area of T2107. Let's take a look at T2101. Here was our problem yesterday. Um, as we rallied to the upside, market breadth just wasn't there. Um, there was just too much uncertainty going on and we continued to pull back here in the market. So just wasn't in play uh, for yesterday. So perhaps today, if we can get some bullish price action, um, good tech reports, something like that, we might see that surge. Um, if not, that uncertainty over the FOMC could continue to see this breadth fade back down. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. In our economic calendar, well, we've got a couple of things that we're going to need to be paying attention to. Um, we've got um, income, uh, co um, uh, employment income cost index um, going on here. By the way, the beginning of the FOMC starts today, so keep an eye on that. Um, employment cost index, we're going to have Case Schiller will be coming in here this morning. We've got home prices index in here a little bit later this morning. We're going to have Chicago PMI and we're going to have that consumer confidence coming in. So keep an eye on those as we move throughout our morning. Um, looking into Wednesday, we have to remember mortgage applications, ADP, uh, Treasury funding announcement. This could be interesting here where the Treasury is looking to intervene um, and um, potentially inject a whole bunch of capital. So watch that carefully here. We've got um, uh, PMI manufacturing, we've got ISM manufacturing, construction spending, job openings, petroleum status. We're going to have those bond auctions and then of course the big one of the day is going to be the FOMC statement on Wednesday afternoon. Let's take a look at what we've got going on our earnings calendar for today and our earnings is really really busy and you're going to have to go to the morning blog to catch the full list. Make sure you click the link just below the title of the video to um, grab that link and, and go over to the morning blog because boy we have a large group. Um, some of the notables here this morning 3M reporting big pop there in 3M today looking really good. We've got reports from AEP this morning. We've got ADM, Archer Daniels in there looking a little bit weak. We've got um, uh, Corning reporting. That's looking good here this morning. Um, LEA, MAC. We've got M, whoops, MAC. We've got MPC that we'll be reporting. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on those. Oh, MCD, um, Mickey D's reporting this morning, looking a little lower. We've got TAP 
looking a little bit lower here this morning as well. So keep an eye on those. Now, if we look this afternoon, the big tech reports are going to dominate this afternoon. Um, everyone's highly anticipating um, an Amazon report. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. We're also going to have AMD this afternoon. We're going to hear from um, stocks like Denny's here. We've got Clorox that will be reporting this afternoon. We're going to hear from Starbucks. We're going to hear from Mondelez this afternoon. So quite a few reports to be paying attention to here for the day and certainly um, plenty of market moving reports to um, be prepared for and uh, watch for those big potential swings and volatility in the market as a result. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks that um, I'm keeping an eye on. I got to tell you, um, Alcoa is still looking pretty good here. When we look at metals out there, um, well, obviously we're getting a lot of selling in some of the precious metals here today, getting a little bit of a pop to drop here in the pre-market on Alcoa. But I'd keep an eye on this. Alcoa, if it can pop through that resistance here in the chart, certainly has some upside opportunity. I would not rule out the possibility, however, that Alcoa could remain locked in this range for a little bit. You can see the length of the um, the range lockup that we were here, just to, um, trying to absorb this big upside move, just resting in here a little bit, and then we might see that opportunity for that pop out. So watch that carefully. If it does go early and pop out, I would expect that pop out rest or pull back to hold and then i would be looking for that opportunity into alcoa uh, take a look at rtx rtx made a move yesterday finally breaking um, this alert up here in the chart moving to the upside looking bullish maybe ready to continue to extend to the upside as we continue to worry about those geopolitical things in the market you'll notice up in here these would be the next next target areas up in here and if we look across that would be I'm going to go to a weekly that would be all time highs here in RTX so certainly that possibility that um, the aerospace and defense obviously with all these wars going on could certainly find that energy to the upside so I keep a, an eye on RTX you might also um, want to be keeping an eye on LMT Lockheed Martin breaking above some resistance here yesterday still trying to move up may have to rest and consolidate here just a little bit but you can see those highs up here in the chart could easily be tested um, as we push on up so watch those closely um, i've got to um, uh, mention 3m here today now 3m just reported its earnings this is a big pop and i i don't like chasing a big gap ups or anything like that but breaking through this resistance what you want to note here is 3m is breaking this major downtrend and it's completing this big w formation in the chart if we get any kind of rest or pullback here on this to to hold prove we can hold this price support in here then I would be looking for that opportunity to maybe pick up some 3M. One of the things we've been seeing, some of these old boring companies have really been picking up the dividend payers heading into the summer seems to be a little bit of a theme. So I would look for an opportunity there into 3M if that can hold. And um, if you'll notice here, Altria um, um, also might be one to be paying attention to with a little bit of rest or pullback. Take a look at Mo on that for that little rest or pullback and some of that defensive area of the market. Take a look at um, AXP. Now AXP continuing to look good, holding in this very bullish 
pattern here in the chart. Got to like that chart right there if we can find those buyers to step on up. Now, I wouldn't be too surprised if this has to rest a little longer and that upside trend might be out here. But keep an eye on AXP, still looking really good. Now, when we take a look at Visa, I can't say the same. Now, Visa is actually looking more like a short here. This is a big, ugly candle up here, starting to push back down to some of these support areas here in Visa. If that were to fail through this area, here I would look for some uh, maybe some short opportunities in Visa and if we take a look at MasterCard MasterCard's also giving me that little bit of short impression so you have to be kind of careful with AXP um, here in the market because we're seeing this little bit of fade here on some of these pay systems and I'm going to say the same on SQ now recently it just rallied up here tried to break that downtrend but you're going to notice that we're coming into a fairly substantial area of price resistance here on um, SQ. This has that potential to go either direction. You know, one of the patterns that I look for is we break the downtrend and then we look to hold a higher low in here and then I'm looking for my entry for that move to the upside. It's still a little bit questionable here at the moment, particularly with those bond yields moving up. If we take a look at the US dollar, US dollar surged up nicely yesterday, showing that push and we're gapping down a bit here this morning on that dollar. That could help the market if we can see that weaken, but right now with the bond yields holding in there so firmly, I don't think that's probably likely. We'll have to wait and see. Watching this closely as we move out here, this is a nice little consolidation moving out toward trend. I would look for that next opportunity for the US dollar to strengthen here if we continue to see these worries about inflation and then of course the currency fluctuations that we're continuing to see around the world because of the higher rates. So watch that closely. Um, take a look, here's another defensive sector stock that you may want to um, pay attention to. Uh, Coke just reporting its earnings here this morning, popping through this resistance up here. Notice we broke through, we kind of held up here waiting for that earnings report. A lot of volatility in this right at the moment over that volatility, but the key thing is if we can hold above this price support, rest out here and hold, I would look for that next opportunity there in Coke. And then I would also say the same for PepsiCo. PepsiCo's past its earnings. It's up here dealing with this resistance right now. If it can find a little bit of buy energy in here, and again, I'm seeing this this rotation into these defensive sector stocks. Um, so watch that carefully up here. We may find that move to break on through. Last but not least, I want to mention utilities again. Utilities have been showing lots of strength here to the upside, moving up nicely and breaking through resistance in the chart. Watch that carefully here. If we can hold this support, I would look for that next opportunity to the upside, particularly if the market continues to have to deal with this major worry on inflation. So watch carefully there. And heading into summer, we know summer tends to be a little bit of a dry time in the market and uh, people are traveling and doing things like that. Volume tends to pull back a little bit, but watch that closely. Um, Let's take a look at um, um, our financials here. Our financials continuing to struggle here just a little bit. There's that little bit of worry here in our financials. Haven't been able to break through that downtrend here in the chart. Notice we're trying to hold onto that 50 day moving average. We're trying to cling to that. So I think this has that potential to go either way. But since we've heard about um, Republic First, uh, bank going under this last week. A little bit of worry once again starting to come into these. Uh, keep an eye on that and I would keep an eye on KRE. That's also feeling that little bit of pressure pushing back down below its 50. Still struggling with this overall downtrend in the chart. So watch those close.
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. Um, always remember that um, you're welcome to come over and, and uh, visit us in Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. We have... Um, super deal i don't know how you can get any better deal you can spend a whole month with us for basically the cost of a pizza and a coke so um come on over take a trial we'd love to have you over there everyone take care see you bright and early wednesday morning and i wish you all the very very best today